let me talk to y'all for a sec. There's a lot of y'all people in America that's interested in Konzo, in Haitian voodoo. A lot of y'all don't understand what y'all getting yourselves into. Y'all don't understand this country. Y'all don't understand what goes on in it. I want y'all to understand that there's a lot of kidnappings that go in this country. Personally, I had my own brother kidnapped. I had my own uncle extorted. Cats broke up in his house in the middle of the night. They made him run his bank account. You gotta understand, when you're talking about Port-au-Prince, Haiti, you, you got a lot of wolves out here. And if you ain't prepared for that, don't put yourself in predicaments you don't wanna be in. A lot of y'all guys, you talk to these woo guns, you talk to these mombos, and then you go out to some inner city and you don't even know what you're getting yourself involved in. You step out into the slums of Port-au-Prince with no security. And you expect that everything may go well. But let me explain something. You may have the thought in mind that the people you're dealing with have good intentions. But that's not necessarily the case all the time. When your person looks at you as an American, they're looking at a dollar sign. I want y'all cats to understand that. So for you to come down to Port-au-Prince, Haiti, not knowing anybody, you're putting yourself at jeopardy. And you're putting yourself, your family, at jeopardy. Because when they kidnap your fuck ass, they're going to turn around and say, you know what? We want 100000 from your family in America. I want y'all guys to be careful and very skeptical about who you deal with in this Haitian voodoo community. That's all I got to say for today.